Let's hope this is the last one. Chris Webster has his free starter pack from the New York State quit line. Everyone gets one as step one. It almost seemed like I called and I had it within the next day. You know, it was like, they, you know, when you're ready, you're ready and they're going to help you. Well, it's good news. And that would include creating a support system, something Webster says is vital to success. He's tried quitting before and has moved his quit date for the next attempt over and over. Triggers, what I want to call them, and, and, and having a dear loved one that's dying. Well, that's the number one reason why he's fighting to put down cigarettes. The particular form of cancer that my mother has is lung, okay, which metastasized. His mom and his grandmother, who died from lung cancer, were both smokers. I'm, I'm looking for any tool right now. There's no magic pill. And do you smoke? But there's the enchantment of the quit line. It's sort of learn as you go. There are messages that come uh, to individuals over a six-week period and uh, helps prepare people for those times when maybe it might be a little tough, there might be craving. Dr. Andrew Hyland is the director of the New York State Quit Line at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. He says they see about 50 to 100 people join the texting quit line a week. So the text messaging program is automated, but it's got that sort of personal oversight to it. So uh, for those individuals, again, maybe it is the uh, anonymity of, of the process. Highland says it is all about support. He adds there's no shame in trying and feeling. It happens a lot. It's not like 100%. You go, you put the patch on, and you're all done, and you're cured. It's not like that. It's, there's, there's a lot of hard work. Um, along the way, but that's the whole point of the services. Services we should add that are free. And it's embarrassing actually doing this right now. Webster says he wants people to know it's okay to struggle. Quitting, it's hard. He's looking forward to a day when he doesn't need to light up. Smoking's got it. I got to stop smoking or I'm going to wind up, you know, somewhere where I don't want to be. Brianna Foose, Spectrum News.